What is up everybody, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. In today's video, we are gonna be doing episode number four of our trailer build series where I have you guys come onto the channel to show off your trailer builds. In today's video, we have a very special guest, Zig. He's a zero to 7K course graduate and he's gonna be coming on to show us his $15,000 enclosed trailer build, the first enclosed trailer build in the series. But before we get into that, I do wanna mention, if you guys are looking to start a pressure washing business or scale it up to the next level, check out the first link in the comment section and the description. It's gonna be a link to our pressure washing business course, the number one selling pressure washing business course in the world this thing has been a game changer for a ton of guys and zig actually leveraged it to build his trailer so with that out of the way let's go ahead and check out zig's trailer all right let's do an update on this trailer since uh i've done some things since the last Video I made, plus this is gonna be going up on the Forever Self-Employed page. We wanna go over a cost breakdown so that you can know how much money I have into this trailer total. So it's a 2021 tandem axle enclosed trailer. It's six by 12. It cost me $3,500. Then we'll go to the pressure washer. That is a Honda GX690 with an eight gallon a minute pump and that cost me 3,500 as well. Go over to the reels, we got these two hose reels. Each cost me $250. I got 150 feet of flex Zilla hose and 200 feet of high pressure line. Now you got the IVC tote, 275 gallons. That was 50 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. The proportioner, that cost me 500 to build. The pump was 150. It's a five gallon a minute ever flow pump. Batteries up there, about 80 bucks. My soap tank, which was $100. Swing around. The bleach tank was 180. That tractor supply, it's a 50 gallon tank. I got my surface cleaner, Whisper Wash 16 inch. That was about 500. I got the Tucker water cart. The pure water system for washing windows, 2400 into that. So we're at 11,000 so far. A um, couple of ladders. You got my old soft wash 12 volt system that I built. That, that cost me about 500 bucks to build. Bunch of odds and ends, toolboxes, fittings. You got different chemicals, soaps boxes storage leaf blower all in all this trailer i have about probably fifteen thousand dollars into it the trailer itself i'm going to say around ten thousand to build it and that's over the course of an entire year i started this business with an investment of about fifteen hundred dollars out of the back of my pickup truck and every dollar i made I would pay myself some and then some would go back into the business and I just kept upgrading things. I upgraded and bought a cap on my pickup and then I bought a trailer and then I bought a better power washer and then I bought the water cart, the uh, pure water system. Um, I just never went into debt for any of it. I just, as I made money, I spent money on bigger and better things that would make me more efficient, that would help me make more money. Now this trailer is pretty much set up now where there's not a whole lot I can't do. Um, the only thing I don't have is a hot water uh, system and that's all right, because most things that I get called for, I can handle it and it's not gonna be tough. Um, so there is a lot of money into this trailer, but this year I've generated $15,000 already in revenue and I have another 22,000 on the books going forward um, and we just got started so really if you think about it in the grand scheme of things that ain't shit um, I started off with $1,500 investment so and I never wanted a debt for this company and last year when I started off in June I did it part-time I did it very rarely a couple days a week here and there um, and I brought in $30,000 in revenue from June to October November so the money's there if you if you know how to market yourself, if you know how to do the work, if you do a good job, if you can find the customers. Um, I don't suggest going out and spending 10 grand on a trailer right away. I, I suggest if you got a thousand bucks, you know, invest in some stuff and and get started. Don't don't go don't go buck wild right off the bat. I didn't. I just 
gradually increased and gradually upgraded my equipment until I am where I am right now, which is basically there isn't any other large upgrades that I need to make. I just bought a larger surface cleaner and that was the last big purchase that I, that I will be making. Um, from here on out for the rest of the season, there aren't any major upgrades. So I hope you like the tour of the trailer. I'll go through it one more time. And uh, I want to thank uh, Forever Self-Employed, uh, Justin, for having my trailer on his on his channel. That's pretty cool. Um, if you haven't checked out the Lean and Mean uh, local domination course that Justin and Aaron Parker put on, I highly suggest that. Uh, it was one of the courses that I paid for over this past winter, and they compiled a ton of information, valuable information on how to get you customers, how to do the jobs, what kind of equipment you should have. Um, I believe that that's one of the courses that I could say is responsible for a lot of the success that I've had already this season. Um, like I said, we've only been in it a month in like a week. I started at the end of March. So if you haven't checked that out, check that out. I highly recommend it. It's worth the money.